And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from West Lake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, and it is Tuesday morning. Sorry, I missed you guys. And today's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday morning, and what do we have on the board here? Uh, Genesis Global Capital seeks permission for a bankruptcy court to liquidate 1.6 billion in great scale trust. So uh, apparently in uh, another day here, tomorrow, they're gonna be liquidating $1.3 billion worth of Bitcoin. I don't know how that's gonna affect the market since Bitcoin's market cap is now $800 billion. So you got stocks ripping to the upside, S&P, Dixie is, good old Dixie. Good old Dixie is, uh, well, hit one of our targets there, it looks like. And we are now above one of the boxes of peace and prosperity and death and despair. And it doesn't matter because Bitcoin or the dollar hasn't really been affecting anything. I think the main issue on the horizon here is, is Bitcoin going to tag the $45,000 mark? Are we going to get the bounce that we've been looking for? It looks like that is the case. Once we break the not 0.5, the next target will be that 618 coming in at 44,936. Uh, tether dominance, uh, as tether goes down, well, cryptos go up. And as you can see, we're bleeding it out on the four hour time frame right now. Benefiting our, benefiting our good old coins. The corns are going up right now. Ethereum at 2400 and we did say yesterday, uh, actually I said to the team yesterday, very, very likely. This one takes a leg higher uh, because what, if you remember, I think Monday's video, I said, look, a weak bounce comes to the 382. The strong bounces come to the 0.5 or the 618 coming in at this level right here. I would expect some sell pressure, but hey, maybe Ethereum surprises us all, takes a major rip and just pumps right through it that could be the case that could be the case so tether dominance taking a leg up bitcoin dominance taking a leg down and that's what we want to see for altcoins to start their party so i guess that is the analysis for the day we finally got the bounce the 0.5 and the 618 um well we haven't got it yet but close enough is Close enough, and I would expect if Bitcoin takes the leg to the 618, well, Ethereum ultimately takes the leg up to the 618. It's been a bit of a laggard, but then all of a sudden, Ethereum pumps out of nowhere, and that's how the market has been going. I would say still that our target is valid of 3,500. Uh, actually, yeah, this pivot, 3,500. We have not crossed back into the chasm of death and despair below, call it 2,000. You know, back below 2000, I'm going to readjust my opinion on Mr. Ethereum. Uh, if I could only press the right buttons. So generally sideways and up from here, um, at least for the short term. At least for the short term, I did want to bring this setup here on the daily time frame. This is a quite a nice W in formation. And as soon as we close above... 193 that will initiate that target back to the top side of the range this off the green 55 is where you expect your continuation drives you can see you got one here and to be fair um this could be the beginning of a new trend kind of starting here oh boy i want to i want to take another stab at this one um and i was starting it off so w formation arbitrum is likely the benefactor the benefactor of the ethereum pump why arbitrum is an ethereum later layer two i just turned 140 dollars into 1300 dollars over the last two weeks yes it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency my name is chris mitchell i am the ceo of crypt courses and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. 
It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Scaling solution, it uses optimistic roll-ups to achieve its goal of improving speed, speed, scalability, and cost efficiency on Ethereum. Arbitrum benefits from the security and compatibility of Ethereum. Another benefit is higher throughput and lower fees compared to Ethereum that is made possible thanks to moving most of the computation and storage load off-chain. Arbitrum has, uh, I believe, the highest total value locked so this is like a higher beta Ethereum play alongside Mr. Optimism, which is leading the pack. W is already initiated here. And heading up to the 618 right there. That's your bull trap, your bear trap zone. I might just have to take a little stab at that one. Um, a little stabby stab. Little little uh, portfolio diversification up into... But no, I, I like the optimism look up 4% there, up 3.5%. If Arbitrum has total value locked much greater than optimism, I would expect when Arb does pump, the pump's a little bit stronger. Um, so one, two, three, correction, and W reversal. That's looking nice for some more upside continuations there. Checking in on Mr. TIA in the CIA. And if we do close above the middle wick, I would target the top side. Uh, TIA looking bullish for now. And Mr. Chainlink, I will show you as this has been the darling of the market at the moment. Um, bit of a W formation on the hourly time frame. Just waiting to get that closure above the middle wick. We are so close, but so far. Needs to close above, um, you know, this area right here on the hourly. If it does do that, I would ultimately be targeting the next target up at 1921. Um, yep, and invalidation on that move. Any kind of a tick below this low here at 1815. So be on the lookout for that. That's it for today, guys. I've got a lot to do today. And I don't have much time for else. So have yourself a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. Whatever you touch prospers. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Take care. <laughs>